Hello everyone, I'm here with my next video on the story Pret in the House and this is by Ruskin Bond. Let us start by reading the summary. In India, Pret, that is the spirit, usually live in people trees. This Pret lived in the people tree right outside the compound wall of grandfather's house. It had lived there for many years without troubling anyone in the house. People would avoid walking under the tree at night. It was said that if you yawned beneath the tree, the preth would jump down your throat and ruin your digestion. Grandmother's tailor, Jaspal, blamed the preth for all his delays as well as his tummy upsets. When the PWD cut down the people tree, to widen the road, the Preth took residence in the house. It began by hiding grandmother's spectacles. Grandfather was the next to be troubled. One morning he found his prized sweet peas snipped off and lying on the ground. Then it was Uncle Ken's turn. He wasn't able to sleep because someone would pull his bedclothes every few minutes. A series of disasters followed after that. When Aunt Minnie visited, the Preth took an immediate dislike to her. One morning when she appeared in the living room foaming at the mouth, Everyone thought she had got the rabies. The Preth had switched her to a toothpaste with a tube of shaving cream. It was then that grandmother announced that they would have to leave the house. A few days later, they started moving. They were barely out of the gate when they heard a peculiar sound. They thought they heard the parrot talking. However, it was Preth talking to itself. It was quite excited about the prospect of going to a new house. So this was a short humorous account of the Preth in the house. Let us start with the question and answers. Question A. Where did Preth live before moving into the author's house? The answer is. The Preth lived on the branches of a people tree right outside the narrator's grandfather's house. Question B. How did the mischievous Preth pass its time when he lived on the trees? The answer is, when a Tonga would pass by, the Preth would frighten the pony. As a result, the pony cart would go reeling off the road. Occasionally, the Preth would get into the engine of a car or a bus which would soon afterwards have a breakdown. He also liked to knock the topis off the heads of the sahibs. Question C. What was the reason people avoided walking under a people tree at night? The answer is, people avoided walking under a people tree at night because they believed that if you yawned beneath the tree, then the preth would jump down your throat and ruin your digestion. Question D. Why did Preth move into the house? The answer is, the Preth moved into the house because the Public Works Department, that is the PWD, cut down the people tree and this was done to widen the road. Question E. What prank did Preth play on grandmother? The answer is, Preth hid the grandmother's spectacles whenever she took them off. Question F. How was Uncle Ken troubled by the Preth? The answer is, every time Uncle Ken was about to fall asleep, the Preth would pull the bedclothes off the bed. As a result, he could not sleep well. Question G. What kind of a person was Aunt Minnie? The answer is, Aunt Minnie was a nervous and an 
easily excitable person question h why did the family think she had rabies the answer is aunt mini ended up brushing her teeth with a shaving cream which the preth had substituted with her toothpaste she came into the living room foaming at the mouth hence everyone thought that she had rabies question i what peculiar sound did they hear from the roof of the car the answer is it sounded as if someone was chuckling and talking to himself question j what surprising discovery do they make the answer is they realize that the preth had tagged along with the family and was feeling happy at the thought of playing fresh pranks on them even in the new house let us start with reference to context question read the extract and answer the questions that follow extract 1 grandmother stiller jaspal who never had anything ready on time blamed the preth bring the preth for all his troubles so this is the extract let us see the questions question 1 how had preth troubled jaspal the tailor the answer is once when yawning jaspal had forgotten to snap his fingers in front of his mouth it was then that the preth had got in and had given jaspal tummy upsets question 2 why was people tree cut the answer is the people tree had been cut by the pwd in order to widen the road question 3 why was the author blamed for the prank that was played on grandmother the answer is boys are known to play pranks on others since the author was the only boy in the household uncle ken as assumed that he was the prankster question 4 how was it proved that he wasn't responsible for wrong doing in this house the answer is a few days later when the spectacle disappeared again and were discovered dangling from the wires of the parrot's cage it was agreed that some other agency was at work extract 2 grandfather was next to be troubled question 1 how was grandfather troubled the answer is grandfather went into the garden one morning and found all his prized sweet peas snipped off and lying on the ground Question 2 Why couldn't Uncle Ken have a good night's sleep The answer is Uncle Ken couldn't have a good night's sleep because every time he was about to fall asleep the preth would pull the bed clothes off the bed Question 3 What alibi did the author have The answer is the author's alibi was that he had slept in grandfather's room so he couldn't have played a prank on anyone Question 4 What disasters followed the incident The answer is vases fell off tables and pictures came down the walls parrot feathers turned up in the teapot the poor parrot let out vexed squawks in the middle of the night uncle ken found a crow's nest in his bed and when he tossed it out of the window he was attacked by the crows think and answer question 1 how has the humor been created in the story the answer is humor has been mainly created through the use of ridiculous situations that are caused by the mischievous preth the preth's action are presented in a comical manner such as hiding grandmother's spectacle on the snout of the wild boar or switching aunt minnie's toothpaste with a shaving cream the reactions of the character also contribute to the humor such as the family assuming that aunt mini had rabies when she came into the living room foaming at the mouth question 2 the story creates awareness about some widespread superstitions in india discuss 
the story highlights some of the superstitions prevalent in india particularly the beliefs in ghosts it is said that preet usually lived in people trees and people avoid walking beneath them especially at night it is believed that yawning beneath the tree allows preet to enter the human body leading to tummy upsets the story also shows how people attribute inexplicable events to the presence of a ghost for example the disappearance of grandmother's spectacles and falling of uncle ken's bed clothes are quickly attributed to preet who they think had moved in the house after the peepal tree had been cut down by the pwt the story also highlights how people can let their superstitions get the better of them on the whole the story shows how superstitions can impact people's life and lead them to take decisions based on unfounded beliefs i hope this video was helpful to you if you are a newcomer please subscribe to the channel